this being a black, uh, people need to get a hold of this company here. I don't care. I'm not going to do any promos for them and stuff like that. But they need to know, realize that they have a class action lawsuit against whatever uh, supervisory control and data acquisition. I know all about it, and I could talk to anybody with this company, with lawyers, and anything that wants to do a class action lawsuit against anybody that is trouncing or hacking internet-wise. Okay, because I'm being uh, messed with. Basically, the you know, IP address being able to get out to Sechi, which Sechi might be down because they don't want us to see. Let me take you right to that right now. That they don't want you to see this, okay? And what it is is supergiants activity. The sun is in the supergiants, and all this light propagation gets propagated down to Earth. And scientifically, scientists across the world and stuff that are doing the studying on this stuff are basically. Uh, leaving certain videos up so that people understand and see what's going on. Scientists and scientists and then they communicate to each other and see what's going on here. And you can see that the light propagation from the sun during the daytime hours and basically it's like a 10 minute interval here and then it'll pop out when it refreshes or basically either that or supervisory control and data acquisition that they don't like to be showing you what's going on. As you can see the Terra uh, the tetrahydrants is basically, I might be saying it wrong, but scientifically there's been people over the years, the diamonds in space, the crystallization of uh, the diamond shapes, the the tri or more than tri objects that you'll see, because I'll show you some more stuff too on some photos that I got. And you can see during this 10 minute lapse how fast stuff rotates around this one object there. Now there's tons of objects in space, but as you know that when we blew in the idea that a few guys on the tube ended up picking up, they thought it was a humongous spacecraft. Well, we know that pretty much it was the latest uh, moon uh, uh, magnet, magnet, they are basically magnet, magnetically connected laser controlled or a telemetry uh, control those satellites uh, mapping the moon in whatever orbit that it's in. Because so it's, it's in a bigger orbit, we know that by looking at what I showed, Busta, and I'll show that video. Just basically go, I think it was the last video before this video, so there, that's it, that easy. Uh, Bust and ass balls pretty much, but you can see how fast that, that one little planet that we've seen in front, well, it's, you know, it's huge, I mean, but, because uh, it's pretty much something bigger than the moon or something, uh, and it's basically got stuff rotating it around it real fast, or it rotates around real fast, and you're getting able to see it from the sun, from the super giants, and the sun, and all this material is front of, in front of the sun because the sun is in the supergiant, so there's dead material. But there's also this dead material that's orbiting in space between us and the sun, and you get it uh, projected down to space. Now, I, when I was a little munchkin, but I'm not going to say the age because I don't want to get somebody in previous time. I don't know what the law is for having somebody working under age, but the idea that I worked in a movie theater when I was a little munchkin, okay? So... Uh, took care of the projector, so forth and so on, the rods, the burning, and, and projecting the light onto the screen. Okay, a lot of movie theaters still to this day, probably in across the United States, probably basically maybe still using the equipment. Okay, if they're outdated, and but they still throw in the whatever millimeter film that they're getting around. But you can see these terahydrons, I mean tetrahydrons, because when they're in the sky, I call them terahydrons when they hit the Earth. And I also got lots of proof of basically everybody lens flare, lens flare, screw lens flare. All these new cameras that we have, basically they're using scientifically studying here, showing you this action. And I don't advertise, but the idea since Subaru does pay for that telescope there, they get to be able to be there. But I'm not taking any money from them, okay? So it's a weather webcam in Hawaii. So uh, descriptioning wise, this dark uh, is out there, and let me re-square and get out of this video, but let me show you the time clock down there too so you understand that this was video that was from today at the 8 hour, and it looks like it goes to 8, 9, maybe 6, 7, 8, 9 hours. Uh, so basically it's like a 3 hour lapse, and I don't know if they refresh it every 3 hours or not, but you can see the terahydrons, tetrahydrons, and let me zoom in on this shot too before we leave here so you understand that basically what I'm showing you is true. That there is a planet that has a lot of material or moons that go very fast and it rotates fast. And I showed, just watched the video before this, and that basically, I don't know if that's an actual refresh that from them, that possibly is a refresh from the camera all the time, okay? Updating, okay? Because I suppose that could be live right now, the live Hawaii time.
Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on this some more, but you can go to Hawaii and see some ton of stuff in, up on those mountains right now. I'm telling you that right now. And yes, folks, the mic is always going to be shitty because no matter what Kerasoft messes with it, now my voice is pretty much masked, which is somewhat good for me. Okay, so you can see it. I can zoom in into. Uh, I got up to a thousand, I think, or I had to get back down to 750. But you can see how fast, because all this stuff gets projected down to our eyes in our sky, and it ends up being dark light because it's an object, just like when you're doing hand puppets in front of a projector or a light or a tent when you're a kid. Okay, with a flashlight outside camping, okay? Picture shows, finger picture shows, folks. Okay? So all this stuff is in front of the sun. Okay? There's no hiding it. And they do chemtrail to take care of more than likely Fuka Fudge up, but but the actual fact, okay, that's the other webcam, but I can get back over here. But let me square this up today. Okay, the other Terra Hydrant out there also has a lot of action that moves around it within a three hour period also as you can see there okay and then it pops out but let me get this back so that was a terahydrant to the right lower corner and then this is the one up high the larger one the darker one and that's the stuff that moves around within three hours right there okay zoomed in as much as I can get to be able to have the screen play right over here folks I know you know see you can see what we're watching okay so that's the material and the objects and the moons or whatever would be rotating around that object between us and the Sun Okay, in this trilateral, and basically it's like a diamond. Also, because basically, let me take you to the uh, the shots that basically, and I'm I'm not apologizing, but what I'm saying is, now let me move over to now we have this other dark object there. Why I still have this plan, so that you can play around with that webcam. Okay, folks, and there's the address. Okay, and you can watch that right now live. Okay. And folks, uh, we're NASA lied to you because look what's happening. Okay, within an hour, you're going to have a very good show, Interstellar Cloud, the Cosmic Mystery, and also we have asteroid belts closer to us than they've ever been in the history of Earth, and they lied to us on that show on that one Thursday a few months back. Uh, do not understand why the government's lying to us, but if you're ex-military, you would understand. Okay. So at the website above. You can basically, and you can get this off of Dutch's. Dutch will have this on one of his pages. And basically, I'll have the address for that in a little while. Or basically, uh, yeah, I'll go to that page that Dutch has got on that. And uh, 